Thank you for joining me in the culinary classroom. In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of the utilization of USDA foods. In our last video, we talked about pulled pork, and in this video, we're going to continue that. Um, we're going to go a little bit of a different direction this one though. Last time we talked about barbecue pulled pork and this time we're going to look at pulled pork tacos and pulled pork nachos. This is another great way to utilize this one product in another way that kids will really enjoy and in this particular instance we're going to talk about taco and nacho bars. Um, if you do not have the ability to, to do a bar setup in your school that is fine you can build these individually. You'll want to make sure with the nachos though that you scale out how much you have. One ounce, equivalent of, one ounce equivalent grain is one ounce of tortilla chips. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, but using a scale and having that available in your kitchen is always a great tool. So let's go ahead and look at the setup we have. So we have our tortillas, which in your case you could be utilizing the USDA whole grain tortillas. Here we have a whole grain tortilla chip. This is our pulled pork, and what I did was when I was reheating this, I actually took some salsa and some chipotle peppers, and I pureed them, and I included that in there to give that nice, smoky, um, Southwest-style flavor. And we have also made a wonderful um, Spanish-style rice to go along with this dish. Now, of course, on your bar, you could have any kind of topping, lettuce, cheese, um, any kind of fresh vegetables. Here today, I have some lime slices and I have some salsa, and I actually have some shredded cheese. I'll go and grab that in a second. Um, and I also have some wonderful um, cheese sauce for our nachos here. Um, this cheese sauce is actually the same recipe that we utilize for our mac and cheese, which is available on the Culinary Classroom webpage. Um, and you can thin it down and season it to your desired consistency if you are doing a nacho bar. So let's go ahead and start building our plates. I'm gonna go ahead and use this plate for our nachos. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put them right on the plate, kind of arrange them spread out. That way when you add your toppings, you can get a nice even spread on the plate. I'm gonna grab a scoop. And now with pulled pork, you need two ounces of pulled pork for a one ounce equivalent. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two ounce equivalent of pulled pork, which is about a heaping half cup here. And I'm going to go ahead and spread it right out over these nacho chips. I'm going to take some salsa here. Kind of drizzle it around. A little bit of my cheese sauce. Which is definitely cooled down a little bit, getting a little stringy here. Make sure that if you are going to do one of these bars that you have a hot well that you can hold this in so it doesn't thicken up too much, especially before those last students come through. And then for a little bit of color and some wonderful flavor, I got some limes here. And I'll just go ahead and arrange them right on there. And you have a beautiful nacho dish for your students. So the next one we're going to go ahead and build is our tacos. And for this, I'm going to need shredded cheese, so I'll be right back. Sorry, you'll have to clip it out. All right, got my cheese, put on some new gloves. So I'm going to go ahead and take my tortilla and I will grab a half cup of pulled pork. You can do less, especially if they're adding cheese, but if you're going to have this set up as a bar, I would really suggest using a half cup disher. That way you know the students, if they're putting them together themselves, will have enough of a meat meat alternate on there. Um, having some fresh tomatoes, some fresh lettuce, things like that will, are also great things to go along with this dish. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle my shredded cheese on here. Don't need that much. A little bit of salsa. And I'm going to go ahead and just squeeze a little bit of the juice of the lime on here. 
but then I'll leave them on the side of the plate just because it looks really nice. And a great thing to accompany this if you don't have whole grain tortillas, but you still want to make sure you meet that whole grain requirement, is a wonderful whole grain Spanish rice. A half a cup will give you a one ounce equivalent grain. And there you have a wonderful, authentic meal. Enjoy. <laughs>